When you go to tie down your hatch or your trunk, there really is no good options to tie your rope to. These drain holes are no good. This plastic piece for your hand doesn't work. And if you try to hook into your plastic molding, it could rip it right off. And putting a rope around the wiper shaft is never a good option. So there's a spot that's been staring you right in the face that you just didn't know that you could use it for this. And it's the latch that's built right into your car. And pretty well 90% of the vehicles out there with a hatch or a trunk, you'll be able to use this. So if you look on your car or your SUV, you'll notice that here's the piece at the bottom that the latch engages with. So if you take a small screwdriver or even your key and push up on this, you'll notice that this is the perfect spot to put something in to hold your hatch down. And then if you just use your key fob or the button or the handle on your hatch or your trunk, it will easily undo the latch. There's a number of things you can easily put in there as a secondary tie down point. The first is one of these cheap little carabiners you can get for around a buck. So all you do is push it up in there until you hear two clicks. And as you know, the first click is the safety and the second one is when it's latched. And now you have the perfect secondary tie down point. And like I said earlier, just use your actual key, your key fob or the button to unlatch it. You can also use a bungee cord. You can use one of these steel rings that are also cheap. Or use one of these S hooks. Or you can use a mini ratchet strap. And if you can't find anything else, you can always use your key ring. Or just make a loop in the end of a piece of rope. And then of course, once you have one of those attached, just use this lower point to tie into. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications, and we'll see you next time.